Attack helicopters hovering over our convoy at all times for protection. Russia's army went to great lengths to bring a massive group of journalists to the ancient Syrian city of Palmyra, recently liberated from ISIS. When we arrived, a surprise, a classical concert featuring a Russian star director right in the ancient amphitheater. And a greeting from Russian President Vladimir Putin. This concert is a way to thank those who fight against terror, he said, ready to sacrifice their lives. The star musician Sergei Roldugin, named in the Panama Papers for alleged links to offshore companies with cash flows of hundreds of millions of dollars. He has denied any wrongdoing. Also on hand, Russian soldiers who demined Palmyra after ISIS was ousted, a sign of the pride Russia takes in its Syria intervention. Palmyra was liberated from ISIS control in late March after the Syrian army launched a massive offensive. When ISIS moved into Palmyra, many experts feared the worst, that the terror group would flatten this entire remarkable ancient site. But when ISIS was driven out of here by the Syrian military, of course, with a lot of support by the Russian Air Force, the experts were surprised to find how much of it remained intact. But some treasures, like Palmyra's Triumph Arc, were destroyed. Now experts are debating how to restore them. But threats, like unexploded ordnance, remain. While Russian demining teams have cleared both the ancient city and a nearby town, they are also training Syrian troops to find and destroy explosive devices. The commander says the bombs ISIS left behind were particularly sophisticated. ISIS left bombs behind that were professionally made, he said. We found high-grade explosives and at least three suicide vests. Russia clearly views the liberation of Palmyra as a major victory, not only for the Syrian government, but for their forces as well. One they want the world to take note of, even as Syria's civil war drags on. Fred Plank in CNN, Palmyra, Syria.